Oh, I thought I'm alone. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Richard and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about the Sony a7 IV and I know this is not the new camera, but if you are in the film business or in the photo business, then maybe this camera will be a great choice for you. And if you are planning to buy one, so I'm hoping I can help you guys to make the decision. Let's jump into it. So if you're new are here, then my name is Richard Takac. I'm a professional photographer slash filmmaker from Europe, from Hungary. Please uh, excuse me about my English, but I try to make it better. I try to learn the language. If I say something wrong, then please forgive me. About me a little bit. I make weddings and commercial works. If you are thinking about this camera, then I have to say... <laughs> I'm not gonna say it in the beginning. In the end of the video, you're gonna know it. How good is this camera? So, is it here? This is what we got, this is what we need. I've got two from this. So this is the, uh, so this camera, my main camera is also an a7 IV and my B cam is an a7 IV II. The first impression about this camera is the body, but um, I think I can make this video a little bit better about how is this camera looks like, what is the new features or what I really like. So we have a bigger battery grip, the main dial. We have three options to save our settings and we can easily switch between those. One, two, three. This is one of my favorite feature. Then we have one, two, three spinning dials, shutter, aperture and white balance. Safety button here. You can choose your right settings, button click and is it locked? It's great. Under the main dial we have another switcher and you can choose easily between photo and video mode and we have a slow motion but I never use it. Customizable buttons one two three four it's great we have a spinning dial here and the joystick to choose your focus point. Flippy screen it's not a big deal but in 2023 we just need it. The ports microphone headphone USB-C micro USB and full-size HDMI. On the right side, the memory card slot, we have two of it, so it means you have the opportunity to do our recording and have a backup always. On the first one, you can use the CF Express cards too, which is a great option. The mount for the tripod and the battery door. The safety shutter, it's gonna save your sensor uh, from dust and things like that. So, we got the outside and now I'm gonna tell about the inside of this camera. What do we have here? So we have a 33 megapixel CMOS sensor with the bronze XR processor, which is really great, it's so fast. Okay, we have the limitation of a fast shutter speed, so 10 frames per sec, but I think we are okay with that because this is a hybrid camera. So if you need faster shutter speed, then just buy the R line and that's all. But if you need a hybrid camera, then it's gonna be enough. What I really like in this camera, this is the IOBIS, the image stabilization. It is really great. It's, I love it because when I'm on out the field, then I use my gimbal to make the perfect shots what I need. But after the ceremony, I shoot everything in handheld and I never had any issues. I, I don't have so shaky footages because the IBIS is working so good. Even if I don't have an image stabilized lens, perfect. So we have smooth footage after it. Both of the photo and the video side, it's a great camera. I shoot in now with the 24 to 70 Sigma f2.8. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this camera is sharp enough or how is the autofocus is working? Here is the camera. Autofocus in the middle, me, middle, me. So, I think it works pretty fast. I never had any issue with the with the autofocus, so it's working amazingly fast and great. No problem with the autofocus. The next one, what I really like with this camera, this is the ISO. Was a little bit afraid because. We have 33 megapixel and we know if we have more megapixels 
then we got a little bit more noisier image in the dark conditions. But there is the big thing. I have no idea how Sony made it, but they just nailed it. And I, I will show you guys how is it looks like. Now we have the base ISO, is it 800? And we got a few lights here. I'm gonna turn the light off and now I think it's pretty dark so yeah so this is almost like a real life situation like in a wedding so we have a little bit different colored lights and now I'm gonna change the ISO is it maybe too much but now I think it's it's okay I have no idea how it looks like because I never used the 32,000 ISO so you can tell me guys is it looks good or bad and we'll see how the autofocus working in these conditions okay I in the small display I see some noise but I don't know how bad is it so my hand my face turn the light on yeah it's a little bit too much now we are overexposed I'm gonna turn back the ISO to 800 and now we got the perfect light I think it's 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 okay it's fine so these few things is what I really like this camera and just a little secret I never was a Sony shooter I was always a Canon shooter after I wanted to update my my gear there was a few options but mine was the R6 and there was the overheating issue yeah. and I didn't want to risk my job, my reputation because if I got the overheating problem in the middle of a wedding or a middle in the ceremony then that's gonna be really really bad news and I'm not saying those cameras are not good yeah I shoot the weddings almost just in summer and the summer is really hot here I have a story there was a wedding when it was like 36 37 Celsius and that was a really hot day I used two camera both was the Sony a7 IV and I made one still uh, footage on the tripod and I forget to change the settings so I shoot it the whole ceremony in 4k 60 yeah what happened and nothing happened there was no overheating so nothing zero you will never get any overheating issues with this camera this is a good check mark on the photo side I do photos and videos to support portraits family uh, Christmas photos or animal portraits this camera working amazingly good here is a few of my work so cars uh, portraits or animal photos that's here this is my cat is Paxton his main coon and the animal I focus it's working amazingly smooth fine fast perfect the photos are so sharp I really love them we have good colors so never had any issues with the video photos too so I have to say it's a great photo camera too on the video side we have the opportunity to shoot in 4k I know 4k it's like everyone shoots in 4k but we have the 4k uh, 24 4k 60 and we got just the full HD 120 I know this is a big downside with this camera but this is a hybrid camera it's not a video or photo flagship camera so we have to know for me it was okay because the 64k it's good it's nice it looks so good but we have a little crop so I'm gonna show you guys how is it looks like this is the crop is what we have this is in 24 mil yeah maybe it's a too big crop I don't know I'm okay with that that's not a big deal for me maybe for you it's a big deal and you know you don't have to buy this camera you can go to the S line and you have the full frame 60 frames per sec or you have the 120 full frame so it's just your decision so I'm trying to help you guys with it and we have the 120 full HD I know a lot of people just saying ah it's full HD it's a crap 
No, it's not. I shoot every everything in the slow motion is what I need in full HD 120 and after when I got the shot, I export every video, every film in 4K. So no one can say the difference between the 4K and the full HD footages. So you have no idea which one is which because the codec is so great and the processor, the sensor is just amazing. For that price, you get a great photo camera, a great video camera. What more do you need? So if you are on a little bit on a budget, then this camera will be a great choice for you because the difference between the price like the S3, then you can buy a great lens from like Sigma if you don't want to buy the Sony's. So I use the Sigma's and they are working perfectly fine. They are sharp, never had any autofocus issues, both in photo and video mode. So it's just perfect for me for my workflow, for my work. It's just a great camera. So if you are a portrait photographer or family or wedding or product or filmmaking, wedding or commercials or I don't know, then this camera is great for you. So you don't have to worry about should I buy it or should I spend more? No, I'm saying buy this camera and you can save a little bit money and you can buy great glasses. You keep the lenses longer than the body. So you will change the body like three, four years after you change the body, but the lens is gonna stay with you like forever. This camera is a great option. This is what I have to say. Don't have to worry about just buy it and make videos and photos. So guys, that was for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I helped you with the decision. If you liked it, hit the like button please and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, I try to do my best. I'm gonna make more videos and more, 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 more because I want to help you guys save you time and money. So just enjoy and do what we love, photos and videos. So that was for today. Thank you guys again and see you guys on the next. Peace.